beautiful sunrise at the rock. I'm Andrew Marcus Bishko and I'm playing Native American flute. This is my flute. It's in the key of G, made by Charles Littleleaf. Has this nice eagle on the top. Uh, <clears throat> as I mentioned in my last video, I recently wrote a book just published by Mel Bay. It's called First Lessons, Native American Flute, How to Sit on a Rock. Their slogan here, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, this book is uh, different than any other book you'll find on Native American Flute at this point. Uh, I'm wanted to write it from an entirely improvisational point of view. That means you're making up the music as you go along. Everything I've played for you so far has just been sound and music flowing from inside me. And I want to teach you how you can access that music that's inside you and bring it out through the Native American flute. The first, the book is divided into eight lessons. The lessons follow the progression of the seasons, so it begins in the uh, end of winter, go into uh, spring, a couple lessons for spring, a couple of lessons for summer, a couple of lessons for fall, and then another winter lesson to finish out the book, the eight lessons of the book. Uh, the first lessons are mostly about uh, technical te things, you know, where to put your hands, for example. See, there's an illustration where to put your hands. All the way through, this is illustrated by my friend Tom McCune, beautiful illustrations on every single page. Um, then, uh, here in lesson two, I'm gonna teach you how to breathe, how to breathe deeply. And then we move on and the lessons become after you gain the basic techniques of how to play the flute, then you'll be looking at how to bring the music out. Here, this lesson is called The Center, Lesson 5, talking about uh, placing different aspects of music and also of your life at the center of your song. Uh, and it goes on uh, into lessons about silence and the final lesson about the heart. Here's a beautiful illustration from the lesson about silence. I really like that one. <laughs> Tom did a great job on that. So, uh, as you pass through these lessons, you'll begin learning how to play, uh, or if you already know how to play, learning new things about your playing new techniques, and then with these tools, with this toolbox, if you will, or with this set of paint brushes, you will then create music on your the palette of your heart. <laughs> you will create your own music from inside you. There are no songs to learn in this book. There's no, you're not going to learn how to play a song because the song is you and you're going to learn to bring out your own song with this book. It's a good book for beginners, of course, but it's also a great book if you've been playing for a while, if you're feeling kind of stale, uh, to give you fresh ideas about how to bring, breathe life into your music, to breathe life into your song. Uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll play a little bit more on my flute for you.
kind of a dancey mood today and playing these little dance tunes. Everything I played for you in this video and the last videos has been made up. Improvised is the word. Uh, and uh, this is a kind of improvisation. You might call it free improvisation. I don't have any preset rules for the improvisation. I don't figure it out ahead of time. I just start playing. See what comes out and go with it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It uh, brings great meaning into my life to be able to express myself, express parts of myself that are um, can't do it with words, can do it with music. And I hope that you have that experience and get yourself a Native American flute and have that experience yourself. So, signing off from The Rock, this is Andrew Bishko. And uh, go out and get my book, How to Sit on a Rock. Take care.